In this paper, we propose a hierarchical framework for the generation of building interiors. We formulate the layout optimization problem as a mixed integer quadratic programming problem. We propose a parametric layout representation of interior layouts that is more general than previous methods built on tiling. The layout of a building consists of its domain given as an axis-aligned polygon and rooms. The domain is defined by an array of vertices. Each room is also an axis-aligned polygon defined by vertices. Given the layout domain, the goal of the layout design problem is to arrange a set of rooms inside of the domain according to some constraints. There are two challenges of this parametric representation. First, the number of variables has to change during the optimization. Second, it is not easy to formulate high-level constraints for arbitrary polygons. We introduce the computational object room rectangles, which are defined as the basic elements of a layout. A room rectangle is described by a tuple, where x, y denotes the position of the bottom left corner of the rectangle, w, d denotes the width and depth, and l denotes its label. Then a polygonal room can be represented as a union of a set of room rectangles with the same label. We introduce our algorithm starting from the simplest case in which both the layout domain and the rooms are rectangle. Our goal is to create a valid layout that covers the whole domain. We consider the layout to be valid if it satisfies two basic constraints. The inside constraint that ensures all rooms are inside of the boundary. The second one is the non-overlap constraint. We require that there is no overlap between any pair of rooms. We evaluate valid layouts that satisfy the two basic constraints based on an energy function that prefers layouts that cover the domain as much as possible. We model five optional high-level constraints that are most important for interior building layout generation. The size of each room can be controlled by two approaches. The range of the room can be constrained by providing the minimum and maximum values of width and depth. The user can also specify target sizes for rooms. We can encourage room sizes to become close to the user-specified values by adding size error term to the objective function. We provide a room aspect ratio constraint to avoid generating rooms that are too wide or too narrow. The position constraint requires the room to cover the point or two ends of the segment specified by the user. The boundary constraint requires the room to be adjacent to one of the user-specified edges of the domain polygon. The user can also specify two rooms to be adjacent. For details of the definition of each constraint, please refer to our paper. The final objective function is defined as the combination of coverage term and size error term subject to the set of linear constraints expressed before. L are rectangular room tuples, sigma, theta, and rho are auxiliary binary variables selected automatically. Lambda cover and lambda size are weights that control the trade-off between coverage term and size error term. Since both the coverage term and the size error term are quadratic terms, it is a mixed integer quadratic problem. We propose a hierarchical framework to extend the basic method to improve the detail of each polygonal room and to generate large-scale layouts efficiently. Starting from the empty layout domain and user-specified high-level constraints, our method generates an interior layout on the first level. Then we select the subregion for further improvement. Here the algorithm selects the polygon with rectangular rooms that surround the empty region. Then we initialize the layout optimization by decomposing rooms in the subdomain. The constraints for rectangular rooms in the subdomain are updated. Then we apply the same method to generate the new layout in the subdomain. In this example, the user specifies the study room in blue rectangle as the subdomain for further improvement. This is the final result. Now we show some results of our method. Here are two apartment layouts generated by our algorithm with the same input. Boundary constraints are added for bedrooms to ensure that all bedrooms can get sufficient sunshine from the southeast direction. Here are layouts of two-story houses generated by our algorithm. The stairs are considered as special rooms that should be consistent between two floors. Our method can generate both symmetric and asymmetric layouts. Here are two layouts with multiple apartments. 
We also evaluate our method on large-scale examples. 3D models are shown. We perform a comparison with the stochastic method. Here are layouts generated by our method and the stochastic method. The stochastic method took 10 times longer than our method in this test. For the layout generated by the stochastic method, there is a small region not covered by any room, and there are several rooms too small to add furniture. Here is the performance comparison between the stochastic method and ours. For the stochastic method, the running time increases significantly when the complexity of the problem increase. According to the comparison, for large-scale layouts, our method is multiple orders of magnitude faster than the stochastic method. Thank you.